Hello, and thank you for joining us. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Sage Intact and importing transactions and how easy it is to import into Sage Intact. So right now you're looking at my screen. I am going to come to the company and import data. I want to show you a little bit of the background about importing and, and where you would go to see this. First of all, I always say this, but security, security, security. You have to have the security rights to be able to access this part of the program. So I am in my company and I am at the top level. So that's my roll up entity here. And as I go through, I'll try not to make anyone dizzy, but as I go through, you'll look and see at different parts of the program, you'll see a couple different options. So you will see create, import, or you have a template or a view. So we're gonna be focusing on this import. Uh, this is how you can bring transactions into the system from a CSV file. Uh, there is, since Intact is an open API system, that means you have the ability to uh, integrate automatically directly uh, through direct integrations because of the open uh, platform. But if, let's say, if you didn't want to integrate something and you wanted to continue to do it through a file import, this is where you would come to do it. If you produce a template, this is gonna tell you the columnar format that you need to have for importing your CSV files. Um, and as I scroll down, I'm going to go to my general ledger. And if you wanted to, we're gonna import a journal entry today. So this is where you can come to import a journal entry. I'm gonna show you some different other areas here. If you were importing AP invoices from something, maybe your vendor list when you initially get started, customer list, all you can see all of these different import options as I scroll through inventory master lists, uh, price lists, checking account, account information, jobs, cost codes, cost types, all of these different lists. And once again, <clears throat> excuse me, Sage Intact is going to give you the template to show you the columnar format of your CSV file. So let's do this. Let's try to do an import. So I'm gonna come here to my general ledger and I'm going to come to journal entries. Now I'm in my journal entry screen. I have my different journals all listed here and I'm gonna come up to the top and I'm going to say import transactions. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the file, which I happen to know is my home closing template. And I don't have to process offline. This is not a large file. It's going to go pretty quick. And I'm gonna say, go ahead and import. Now it's done. Uh-oh, wait, I have an import error notification. So when you receive this red box, and yes, I did this intentionally, I wanted to show you what an error looked like. Um, it did not import successfully, um, and I can download my error file. I'm not gonna do that because I've just heard on my other screen that I have received a notification of an error. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and bring that onto this screen here and show you what that would look like. So here is my import error notification. And this is what happens when you import something and you, you get an error. It tells me, Kathy, you have an uh, invalid job. So for the entity that I was importing, the job does not reside in that entity. And that is why I got that error notification. Okay, I know that I'm supposed to be, because I know what file I was importing, I know that I was supposed to be in Timberline Residential. That is where this job is housed. So let's try this again. Let's come back into uh, General Ledger, Journal Entries. Now I'm not at the top level, which is where I was a minute ago. I am now in my residential company. I'm going to import transactions. I'm gonna choose that same file, my home closing template. 
and I'm going to click import. Now it's going through and voila, I no longer have that second red box that shows that I had an error. It says I successfully imported one uh, general ledger journal entry and I am done. If I want to come in here and I know it came to my home cost journal because that's where I put it. I'm going to go ahead and come in here and I've imported this several times. I'm going to just what I've edited or view what I've imported. And here is the template that I just did. This is from a HUD HUD one statement or a closing statement and I'm indicating all of the debits and credits that I took off that closing statement and I uploaded that quickly with my import uh, transaction. So the other thing before I let you go that I want to show you is you also get an email saying I'm my intact import success notification. So here I say, okay, I got one imported uh, successfully. I had no errors. So intact is, is very good about letting you know, um, was it successful? Did it, uh, did it not go through? Why didn't it go through? And it, it will let you know in a matter of a couple seconds. So once again, uh, very easy to do, giving you the ability to import uh, all of that list of items that I showed you from the company screen. Uh, it will give you the template format and be able to allow you to import the information into Sage Intact. Thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed uh, learning about importing transactions into Sage Intact. Have a great day.